Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm lounging on the new couch that got delivered in the last video. I uh, just got home from work and Ryan and I are getting ready to go to Trader Joe's. Um, our bed got delivered though yesterday and bed frame, bed frame part two. And we got that giant Ikea mirror that's kind of famous. did some damage. Oh, neat <laughs> we just barely got home. Now he's eating, he's eating lunch meat straight out of the package. We were supposed to make pizzas for dinner. I'm over here having the time of my life. But think about it, he's eating Jay in a stick. It has to be good. It doesn't look good to me. It takes me two times to we get rid of it. Pasta. After this time, I'll be, I'll be done. The English muffins. The bad English muffins. They're fine. They're, they're not. Oh, you did get the turkey jerky. See, now I want to eat some, but I don't want to eat y'all that. <laughs> so I won't. Find me. Strawberries. Strawberries. Can you help me open this? But I'm definitely not eating. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't want it if you're not going to eat it. Like I got the really good spicy cashew butter that Haley always has that I've had before too, and I forgot about it. And I'm really excited about it. You wanna try? Mm -hmm. I'm starving. You should just start eating stuff. Ryan likes when I stand up straight. Yeah, just try. I want, I want the best cake. So we try to get her to stand up straight. She called it getting cranked. She wants to just walk around. I'm chilling, her. man. I'm chilling. Oh my. <laughs> Ryan hasn't gotten a haircut. Since you told July. the last vlog this. He still hasn't gotten a haircut the since the last vlog. Sausage. Wait, I didn't know we were trying out the spicy Italian chicken sauce. Yes, we are. Thanks for announcing it. So I can make a successful. <laughs> Just keep putting pepperoni on his pizza <laughs> over and over again. For the rest of my life. <laughs> he doesn't want to eat. The rest of eternity. <laughs> well, no, the pepperoni's fine. It's just the cheese goes first. Just put the cheese on it. No, I'm the queen of pizza. Just throw in some dab. show his pizza because he knows that it kind of sucks. So he's got like a couple of random sausages. What, did you want half of it to be cheese or something? Yes. Two pepperonis, even though he said the pepperonis weren't good anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and he already ate like a million of them. They ate too much. Also, there's not enough sauce. Remember when he said, don't put so much sauce, don't we listen to her? We can fix that. The dough's too thick though. And it was in for too long. I like, no. she liked me. Hasn't even been in long enough. It's so doughy. Cut it nice with love. I didn't make it with love this time. That's why. Oh, duh. It's too busy making mini pizzas. <laughs> That's 
<laughs> going downhill fast. <laughs> Great job. You want it smaller pieces? More? Nope, pieces? that's exactly the size I want. Edges are good. See, that edge was hiding under the yep. You're better than the people at the pizza place we go to. Great job. That was a thumbs up. Great job. <laughs> Your pizza's gonna burn. Burn, baby, burn. Annis Lidler. Oh, jeez. Her pizza wins. This is our third time making pizzas. I'm up 2 0. After today, 2, two 1, I think. I know, your pizza looks like it's thriving. Although there's weird sauce like on the edge, it's all, all weird. Sauce, daddy? Yeah, I guess. Good morning, guys. I'm at work. And today, Michelle is going to do thread lift on me. Yay, exciting. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, you probably saw, or if you look at my channel, I have another video where I did a thread lift on just my lower face. So we did... Like three on this side, I think, and two on this side around my jawline to pull up this like extra skin that I had and define my jaw. But now we're going to do this mid section, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm so excited. We're going to get started. This is just the numbing, the numbing stings, but it's just for a second. Yeah, I remember last time the numbing being the worst part, because then you were like, do you feel this? And I was like, feel what? <laughs> Did it hurt? No. It just felt weird for one second and I don't even feel anything. Remember when I came to you and said I wanted more cheek filler? And you were mm -hmm. like, no, you don't need cheek filler. Mm -hmm. You're doing this instead. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. Whatever you say. This is the lower side. Yeah. But look at this versus that now. It's so good. I have the the little like cheekbone like contour. shadow contour. Yeah. Life changing. Mm. Oh, Easy. Sick. Honestly, it wasn't bad. Just feels weird. The weirdest part is that I can hear it, like in my face, like because it's near my ear, but it's not painful. And another thing people think is that when the thread goes away, then it's gonna drop. It doesn't happen like that. It'll just go back to normal or always be a little bit better because it makes collagen right there, right? Yes. Wow, I'm snatched. We're gonna go back and put one more on this side like we did last time because I'm just lopsided. I just got home from work. My face is pretty sore. Um, it didn't actually hurt that much when I got it done. I know it looked probably so crazy, but I was like super numb and I barely felt it. Uh, I could only feel it really like when she put the thread up towards here it's like anchored like in my scalp up here and that felt pretty like weird but not really painful I know it's hard to believe but it wasn't that bad it actually hurts more now the numbing's worn off and I'm just like kind of sore and I can't smile really big or laugh all right guys it's the next day I can get a little update of my thread lift so I just have a little bit of bumpiness left I'm like a little bit swollen, but it's already starting to settle in. Very happy. We're gonna do spider vein removal now on our legs. This laser, it's really great for a lot of things, but it has a spider vein removal and a cherry angioma removal setting. Sorry. There's certain like areas that hurts yeah. more, right? Mm -hmm. You tell me so you don't have to jerk. Well, I, I don't know that I'm jerking. It wow. just does it. Okay. <laughs> this one. You have to get this one, Mia. Ooh, can you just take it? 
Yes. <laughs> Did you see that? How oh, is that? So Can you just take? Can you just take it? Get your video with the gram. Oh, I look so cool. <laughs> just got home from work. It was a pretty easy day. We had some fun doing the spider vein reduction with the laser. I didn't think it was going to be that painful, but mine kind of hurt. But it's totally worth it. Um, if you have any questions about it, you can follow my um, esthetician. Caitlin page that's uh, linked. I'll link it down below. I'll link it on my Inst my Caitlin Ashley Instagram, but I talk more about all the aesthetic treatments that I do on there. Anyways, so I just got an order from ASOS. I wanted to get some trendy fall pieces. It's still kind of hot here, but anyways, it's still hot here in Vegas, but I'm just already ready for different kinds of outfits, so I thought I'd do a little unboxing. This is a cute, oh, it looks kind of big, um, little halter top with a little collar. I really like the color. I hope it fits. It's a US 2. Just is a little long, but we'll see, I guess. I'm so excited about this piece. Guys, how cute. It's a little sweater vest. I know sweater vests are like totally coming back in this season. And I contemplated getting a bigger size to make it oversized, but oversized just like, doesn't look good on me. It just makes me look frumpy. And then in my mind, I was gonna wear it with these pants. Let me show you. Still have to see what it all looks like together, obviously. I'm really liking the green color that's kind of trending right now, so got these. So a crisscross at the waist. Hope these fit. These were EU 34, which is supposed to be like a US 2. Um, they're definitely gonna be like on the oversized look, but we'll try them on. If they don't fit, I'm turning them because they weren't that cheap. Okay. And then these pants. Definitely gonna have to be worn with heels because I'm short, but these are like, um, have like a stripe to them and they're flared and super fitted up at the waist. The waist looks a tiny. Also an EU 34, US 2. They're really cute. I hope I like them on. We'll have to do a try on haul soon. I got these are petite style from ASOS, which I love because I'm so short. So these are black flared pants. Um, they're a and they're just like stretchy and I can already tell they're going to be so comfy. And I got this t-shirt. So my vision is like to cut this cropped and then wear it with those black flared pants. It says, have a good day. Do what makes you happy. All about that. US zero. The last thing. I got because everybody's doing it and I think they're really cute. Um, they're super cute and chunky and they'll give me a little height and I feel like I could I could mix and match these with like all the outfits that I got. Here are the outfits all laid out. This is kind of how I imagine them styled in my head. I think it looks cute in person so far. That top with the striped pants, graphic tee with the black pants, and then the sweater vest. The detailing is kind of like that same green color, so I think this will look really cute with the like greenish baggy pants. And then we'll throw these shoes in here, maybe with this outfit, definitely this outfit. I don't know, we'll just kind of see where it goes. I like to always shop in terms of outfits 
because when I buy random pieces, when I, I like won't wear them because I won't know what to wear it with. I'll be like, I don't have anything that matches. So when I shop, I just like buy things that go together and like later I can like mix and match if I think of something, but this is the easiest way for me to shop. My friends have made fun of me in the past. Like you literally won't just like buy a shirt. You'll always buy like pants to go with it. Unless I could just wear it with jeans, but I don't know. I, I'm weird like that. Like I have to get like matching sets or like plan it out before I buy it. Or one day soon, Haley and I are going to get together and take some photos. So I'm gonna bring like at least two, maybe all of these outfits um, and have like a fun photo shoot because I have no pictures to post ever because I spend all my time at work. When I get off work, the sun is down and sometimes I work on Saturdays too. And then Sundays it's like cleaning and editing and whatever, so. I literally feel like I never have anything to post, but anyways. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> My face hurts. I can't smile, can't laugh. It's okay, it's all gonna be worth it. I was telling Brian, cause he was like, why do you do this to yourself? Like, he thinks it looks good. He's like a big supporter. He's like, oh wow, that looks like so good. Like, not that you needed it, but wow, like it looks snatched. I'm like, I know, I'm so happy. But then when I complain that it hurts, he's like, why do you do this crazy stuff then? And why do you put yourself through it? And I'm like, look, I'm in pain for a lot of other random things that don't make me look better. So like I have cramps every month. I randomly have a backache, I have a headache and it's all for no good reason. So I don't mind a little pain and suffering. It was gonna be worth it. That's my thought process. <laughs> totally worth it in my opinion. Good morning guys. Decided to get a little bit more glammed up today, so I stopped looking so bare. I put on um, some strip lashes. I was actually supposed to get my lashes done yesterday, but she had to reschedule. There was an emergency, so still rocking the no lashes. But anyways, I just got to work, and I'm going to go in and get set up. They just pulled up to Vesta and I'm gonna meet Haley for lunch. We talked about doing this last week. We met here when I was done with work. So yeah, we're gonna meet on my lunch break and just have a coffee. I'll probably get a sandwich, I'm starving. But it's good to like just squeeze in little times to hang out throughout the week because I'm so busy. So it'll be fun. Literally like raining. I'm so confused, Vegas. What is happening? Um, can I do the egg salad sandwich, please? And then an iced matcha with almond milk, no sweetener. That's good. Gotta get a picture for the gram. Gotta <laughs> actually post it. I got the egg salad this time. Well, I get it all the time, but <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Before? Yeah, I get it sometimes for lunch, but I always go through the drive-thru. I thought you got a burrito. I get the black bean sandwich too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. That's what it is. I know. I know there's something else that you talk about, not it's, this one. It's the vegan black bean sandwich. It's so good. Okay, bye. Love you. Love you. Sorry, just hit you. I'll see you on Monday. Yes. Okay. Pick. Pick day. I'm excited. <laughs> Bye. Are you ready? Why is your water leaking? Oh man, I got more questions than answers. <laughs> in, oh, in, no. Indoor soccer, man, people get hurt. Bryce's girlfriend tore her ACL. Yikes. I watched like another person tear their ACL. Now you got fights going on. I tore my ACL and no. I wasn't even playing indoor soccer. That's how dangerous it is. You, you just, you're near it. 
I'm ready to go balls out on these mofos. Let's go, baby! Here he goes! Oh, some warm up jumps? Oh! I don't know. It's him being a, some sort of animal. I think a, vel a velociraptor. What a kind of pouncing is this? I also just recognize that Brian's wearing the longest shorts still alive in 2021. Like past his knees. There's only about a two finger width gap between his socks and his shorts. We moved over to the other side of the field. I got the front row seat right behind Guy. We need to get the highlight footage on my phone, but I keep missing it. Hee <laughs> hee, sorry babe. Oh, oh, nice save, nice save. Double K. Double fisting it for you, babe. I do this thing where I, oh, <laughs> where I like spread my feet super wide, but then how are you supposed to? I know. Make any sense? I know. Um, this is so embarrassing. Not at all. Brian, why did you park like this? I told you, I'm just asserting my dominance over the parking lot. <laughs> there's parking bry, there's drive bry. Those are the worst of the brys. <laughs> Those are the worst of the brys. Well, no, morning bry is by morning. far the worst. Morning bry is not even a bry, he's more of a dinosaur yeah. creature. This is true. Yeah, creature is really the most accurate description. Good morning, it is Saturday, and I'm not working today. My dad's actually coming to town, and they are going to take me and Brian out to dinner. I'm bringing like a swimsuit, dinner outfit, and then Life is Beautiful is happening this weekend, so Brian and I might just like show up and see if anyone's leaving and wants to give us their wristbands. My dad is here, so I'm gonna go let him inside. I think if we just go down one flight of stairs, there was a bridge to the mall entrance. Um, Adam, I just wanna go take a picture of what level we were on. Okay. Three. Three, okay. Three, three. Perfect. Professional, it's just like game life. So basically, if we take the escalator down, then we'll pass by the Aldo, and then we can hit the Steve Madden, go back up the stairs, and then go to Zara. Your fingers bleeding? <laughs> Maybe too much. Too much. Too weird. They don't have as much flats here. It's like, I don't understand. You should have a pair of for you. Dad's got the bags. Next. 
I'm ready to go. I'm wearing my new pants. Everybody looks so nice. I love your shoes, Laura Lee. Thank you, they're new. <laughs> Super cute. So we got into Life is Beautiful. We did not have tickets. We literally just showed up and we started asking around. Hey, you guys leaving for the weekend? Like, can it's you like 9 p.m. Yeah. So there's not that much left. But there was a whole day left too. But anyways, so we're asking people. And then these like sketchy guys are like, oh, you, you want to get in? You want tickets? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, never mind. I can't help you. And then his friend's like, actually, yeah, we can. Like, come over here. So then he's like, all right, here's some wristbands. Like, I'll. I'll walk you in, and then you give them back to me when we get in. And, and pay us. And then you pay me once you're in. We're like, okay. So we walk in with the guy. We beep in green. His is, turns red, and they, like, capture him. <laughs> they did ca they just capture him. <laughs> they captured him. <laughs> they were like, He's you have to come. whisked away. <laughs> over here, sir. So, so we're so like, ah. Uh, <laughs> we're we're in. We're just, like, standing. We just got in, but I'm like holding the wristband on me because so, I didn't tighten it so I could take it off. And we're just waiting for this guy because we feel bad. We haven't even paid him anything yet. So we're waiting, we're waiting. And also we're like, we don't want to miss Green Day. And we're looking for him. We can't find him. They had given us their card. A business card. Their business card because they sell tickets, you know, legit business. <laughs> so then. Like J Money. <laughs> tickets to anything. <laughs> So then Brian calls him off my phone for whatever reason, my phone. Which and, one is dead. Oh. <laughs> and then they didn't answer. And then we texted them, hey, what's your cash app? Like, we'll just send you some money. We wanted to make it right. Give him the, it seemed like a good deal. Give him the $200. Let us go to our show. Yeah. Like, we don't want to wait around to give back the wristbands at this point or have to find this guy. felt really good about this plan. I think everyone else in the whole world would have just ran off with the free wristbands. We were like, nope, we're going to make it right. Yeah, so he sends us his cash app and he's like, where are you? He starts blowing us up, like getting all aggressive, calling, texting, having his buddy call, text. like. And we're in better, the crowd, like we're not going to leave to come find him. Yeah, them. you better come back and give the wristbands back, like all crazy. So we just we blocked, block his, them. blocked his number and <laughs> took the wristbands. I feel kind of bad about it. I but feel 0% bad about yeah, it. Yeah, we, we tried to pay them. We did our, yeah. So anyways. It was fun. We had so much fun. The concert was fun too. I lost my voice, like it's coming back Same. now. But we rocked out. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and watch more of our nonsense. <laughs> that's all for now. Till next time. <laughs>